this is Stampy, and welcome to part number 12 of my let's play of Skylanders Trap Team. I am currently on Pepper Jack's Blimp, and if you're there thinking, who's Pepper Jack? This is Pepper Jack. Well, not this one. This isn't actually Pepper Jack. This is a cardboard cutout of a waving Pepper Jack, but the real Pepper Jack uh, is inside the Blimp. And so I am playing as Spry at the moment. Uh, basically, uh, like a little Spyro, essentially, and I got a big key, uh, which I'm going to put in the keyhole, and then I can get inside the blimp and hopefully uh, take out Pepper Jack. Stronger in this show. Ooh, apparently I want to be the air element, so what I'm going to do, uh, seeing as I played a Spry in the last episode, is try out a new Skylander, and seeing as I need to be the air element, I am going to be... I know, let's go back to... Gusto. I had a little glimpse of Gusto in the last episode when I needed to, to get through one of the element gates and uh, I did promise to you uh, that I would go back to him and uh, try him out properly. So here we go. I am now Gusto so I'll be even more powerful but if I grab this bomb I should be able to woo, <laughs> whip some Gusto lift back up here and oh I've got to be quick. i 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 got to be quick. This bomb's going to blow up. The bomb's going to blow up. The bomb's going to blow up. Throw the bomb. Did I miss? Did I miss? Whoa look at it go. Look at it spin. Oh, I missed. <laughs> right, let's try that again then, shall we? So, uh, yeah, if I throw the bomb, I should be able to get through there, and I reckon there's going to be some sort of special secret area down there. So let's let's try and get my aim a little bit better. Let's just try and run a little bit closer. I think I panicked a bit. I was holding a bomb that was about to blow off my hand, and I hold my hands up. I panicked. I got scared. <laughs> uh, but I think if I aim it just dead on, let's get a little bit closer... There we go, easy peasy. And uh, now we can head inside and see what's inside here. Oh, it's quite big in here, actually. Right, lots of things to take out. Lots of things to take out. Oh, this is almost the same as the um, the Kitchen of Shame, a place that I went to uh, in the last episode. But well, let's try and take these out. Oh, I can suck them up, can't I? I think I can try and suck up the enemies. Right, I don't want to do it with this guy, because this guy is going to freeze me, and it's really annoying. But is that them all taken out? Or is there anyone else around? Oh, look, there's a bomb up here. Can I suck him up? Um, I don't know what it does. I, I thought you'd suck them up and blow them out. Maybe uh, those enemies were just too big uh, and I couldn't do it against them. But I've got a little bit of experience. Uh, I've got almost no money as this person, so I'm not going to be able to upgrade them uh, for a while. But uh, hopefully I'm going to get a, a whole lot of money out of this chest. So let me go and mash, 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 mash. Potato! <laughs> and go and get all of these things. So yeah, that way I'm going to be a little bit closer uh, to getting a, an upgrade uh, to Gusto. So uh, basically the way the game works is there are three buttons for attacking. Uh, I'm playing on PlayStation, uh, so it's square, triangle, and circle. I guess for Xbox it would be X, Y, and B. Uh, pretty much the same. And uh, yeah, at the moment I only have moves for this person with square and circle. Which means that he's probably uh, going to get a new move a little bit later on uh, for pressing triangle, if that makes sense. Basically, like, each character has three buttons for attacking. And sometimes they do different things if you hold them and stuff. Uh, but it basically means that you know I've got a, another attack coming somewhere. And oh, look! I thought I was going to suck them up, but I kind of just... I don't know, I, I just sort of suck at them for a bit and then they just get hurt and die anyway. Look, look at this. Oh, I think I'm not sucking. I think I'm blowing. That would make more sense. Oh no, but now I'm sucking. I think I switched between blowing and sucking, to be honest. Oh, I ate one up! I did it! I did! I, I ate one up! I got one inside my belly! <laughs> oh dear, I guess this would um this would explain why he's got his um slightly larger size. <laughs> oh dear, let's go and try and get inside then. So let's go and uh, put in the key, and it's opened up, and uh, now we can go inside and try and track down Pepper Jack. And you're not Pepper Jack! In pasta, eat a Skylander! We were all forced to work on the Zeppelin by that crazy chef, Pepper Jack. The other cooks don't trust you yet, though. They're pretty high strung, being cooks. But they might warm up to you if you can prove yourself at our Skystone Smash game. It's something we made up to temporarily escape the madness of this high-pressure kitchen environment. Here, I'll show you. Yay! We can finally learn how to play Skystones. People keep talking about this, but I didn't know what it was. Smash! To win the game, you must reduce my health to zero. Okay. This is a Skystone. The shorty thingies show how much damage this Skystone does. Okay, simple so far. The hard show how much health it has. Okay, Your got it. opponent always goes first. That doesn't sound fair, but whatever. Right, let's do it. Still not entirely sure what I'm doing, but let's give it a go. There we go. Very nice. 
Right, well, they use sheep creep. And as much as I love sheep creep, probably not the uh, the strongest one. <laughs> so let's go and uh, have my go. Marky Smarky, now it's your turn. Choose a sky stone to play. Hmm. Should I go for, for Bruiser Cruiser? Let's give Bruiser Cruiser a go. They're, they're all pretty much the same, so I don't think it really matters. You can place your sky stone in any of these three spots. Try placing your sky stone here. Go ahead, don't be shy. Okay, but I guess if I place it in front of the sheep creep, it's going to hit me, then I hit it back. But because I'm stronger, I should be able to win. In theory. Bruiser Cruiser. Great! Now the sky stones are about to battle. Yours will win, but it will take one point of damage. I'd already worked that out. Yay! Take that, sheep creep. Round sheep two. Creep. Oh, look, I got Gulper. Gulper seems pretty good. So what's going to happen here? So he's going to take... We're going to take each other out, I think, in that fight. Uh, but I could put Gulper, who's uh, my strongest one that I got so far. And uh, let's put him up here. And so whichever person he sends out, uh, hopefully I'm going to win. Unless they put out something stronger than a sheep. <laughs> the Gulper. Oh, no. I don't have a sky stone here. That means your stone will do two points of damage to me. Yay! It's good. Oh, so I actually heard the. Oh, because there's no one blocking it, I am actually damaging him. That makes sense. Sheep creep. Right, so basically, uh, because if I put uh, me here, because he hasn't got a card blocking it, or a stone blocking it, a sky stone blocking it, uh, I'm going to do two damage to his actual character. And you can see his health in the top right corner of the screen. Uh, he has eight hearts at the moment. So let's put him down there. And then they're going to battle it out. And I'm going to take out that sheep creep pretty easily. Then do two hearts of damage to him. This is easy. I know this is um only the training mode. But I'm doing well in the training mode. <laughs> oh dear. So I must be destroying here. So I should take him down to only two health in my next move because uh, both the uh, the gulper and the bird in the middle I uh, should both do two damage points Cuckoo clocker. let's see if I'm right there we go two damage points two damage points and then this person is going to take out the sheep creep which means in the next round I'm going to win yay sheep everyone creep. cheer me on <laughs> I don't think there's even anything I can do here I just need to watch and watch until I win I guess the challenge though uh, is uh, getting the, the more powerful cards. And so I guess all of the cards I have are based on the, the Skylanders and... Oh, actually, I think it might just be the villains. I think it's just all based on the villains that I've captured, maybe. So maybe I need to try and capture more better villains. Uh, then I'm going to be better at Skystones. Now ah, try your hand against the other shoe shapes. Just remember to not take anything they say personally. It's a very stressful job. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Well, let's go and uh, listen to the radio first and try and get some some money out of it. I don't know why money comes out the radio, but I'm not going to say no. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that in real life if you're walking past a radio and it's just squirting out money at you. <laughs> oh dear, looks like we didn't get any out of that one there, though. Uh, but let's go and try and take on uh, some of these chefs at Skystone, then, shall we? And oh, look at this guy. He's got a cake on his head. Oh, I like that guy. That is a that is a good style. Anyway, it looks like we're battling this guy first. The guy with the, the the pot on his head. He looks a little bit angry, doesn't he? So, Batterson says we can trust you. But it'll take a little more than that to convince us. Yeah, we weren't born yesterday here. I uh, haven't got anything to add. I do agree with my fellow sous chefs, though. But if you beat me at Skystone Smash, we might consider possibly letting you in to see the big man himself. Ah, I don't they don't trust me, so <laughs> so if I beat them at a game, then they're going to let me in. And so I can actually choose which stones I have, so they recommended some. Uh, I might do a bit of a switcheroonie though, so who? So we've got the, the mage there, doesn't do much damage, we've got a little bit of health. Uh, this one's only got one life point. It does loads of damage, but only has one health point. Let's um, let's switch it round. Let's go. Let's see who else we could bring in. Uh, there's the there's the turtle that I just got very recently. There's the sheep creep. I don't want to use that. Um, 
Let, let, let's bring in uh, let's bring in this guy. Uh, let's bring in the uh, the broccoli guy. So he doesn't do much damage, uh, but he has lots of hearts instead. There we go. This will do. Just have a little bit of a switcheroonie, and I like broccoli guy. Uh, so let's see uh, whether I can beat. Uh, was it pot roast? I think this guy's name was. Sprout. <laughs> okay, so they put down tossle sprout. And so, oh, this guy has a heart boost. I gain two hearts. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to save that for a little bit later on in case I need it. So this person has two health. I don't have anything uh, that takes away two health, uh, but this guy uh, has more hearts. So if I put him up here, he should eventually win. Yeah, Chill Bill should be able to take him out eventually. So not this round, uh, but in the, the next round, he should be able to win, and then he'll still be there to block. Right, so this guy only has one health. And so I could put down someone that only does one damage. So putting him down uh, would be a bit of a waste because uh, he does two damage. So what I could do is go and put down my broccoli guy down here. And then he should be uh, able to, to take out the uh, the bird. Is it going to work? Yeah, there we go. I am doing very good here. Not bad for my first proper game. And oh, so broccoli guy and sheep creep, they're going to take each other out. And so what I'm going to do, I think this guy might be my best one, uh, the gulper. So let me put the gulper in the middle. And so he's basically going to be a big defense so that if anyone uh, is put in the middle, the gulper should be able to, to take them out easily. And so there's the, the sheep creep and the uh, the broccoli tussle guy down. Uh, he put down the tussle sprout. Oh, oh no. So this tussle sprout, he's going to beat chill bill, which uh, isn't going to be very handy. Uh, but I should be fine. Though. I should be absolutely fine here. Let's put down the um, let's put down the 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 chompy mage, and uh, let's see if I get my two chompy heart mage. boosts. Let's see if I just heart get them boost. immediately. Uh, is it going to give me twelve? Oh look, there he is. There's the chompy mage. <laughs> I love that guy. Yeah, there we go. He's uh, giving me two extra hearts. Thank you, chompy mage. I knew you were good, really. All right, I should have this game in the bag. So that is Chill Bill gone, but I should uh, be able to, to win in absolutely no time now. He's only got uh, two hearts left, and I haven't been hurt at all. In fact, my hearts have gone up more than they've gone down. And so in this fight, um, it should be a draw, actually. It'll be a draw between them. And uh, these guys are exactly the same, so it doesn't really matter who I put down. Uh, but I reckon I'm going to win this round anyway. Yeah, I will. The gulp is going to take him out once it gets to his go. And I've won. I've won my first full game of Skystones. That was a little bit easy. I'm, I'm assuming it gets harder later on. But I like that game. That was a pretty good fun, wasn't it? When this is all over, I shall prepare us. A victory ham! <laughs> I think they are now going to let me uh, go through to, to go and try and face uh, Pepper Jack. But first... Uh, let me go and try and grab some of this money. Oh, I can't reach it. He can't jump high enough. Can I jump up here and then get up? There we go. <laughs> is that not a, a little bit hot? And oh, is this a... Aha! A little bit of secret. I know there were some, some secrets earlier on I missed, but at least I got the uh, the flying gem, the winged sapphire, whatever this thing is called, because uh, this makes uh, all of the shops uh, a little bit cheaper. It gives me a, a little bit of a discount. I think it's a 2% discount. And it's adding up. I found quite a few of them. I found quite a few of these winged sapphires, so uh, it is uh, adding up. And uh, that was a, a pretty hidden one as well. I'm kind of proud of myself. And there's also, uh, can you see in the background? There's a uh, another element gate, and this is for the fire element. And luckily enough, uh, I do have the uh, the fire trap master. So let me go and uh, first go and gather up a, a little bit of this money. Gusto does seem a bit slow. I think uh, with his big size, he does kind of <laughs> waddle around a little bit. I'm sorry, all I've done is insult this person. You're very good, though. You're very powerful. All right, let me go and uh, pick up Gusto, and let me put down... I think this guy is called Wildfire, I believe. Yeah. Wildfire, he brings the heat, apparently. So if you're a little bit chilly, make sure you get Wildfire, because he brings the heat. <laughs> and now I can use him uh, to get through this elemental gate. And am I trying to get into the oven? I think I've just walked into the oven. Yep, I'm inside the oven. And because uh, I'm the fire element, I'm going to be stronger here, which kind of makes sense. you think the water element would be stronger here, because it put out all of the fires. Um, it's kind of hard to see with what, all of the, the heat here. Oh, I think I'm trying to get rid of all of the fire. Oh, no, I'm cooking bread. Ah, there we go. I cooked a bit of bread. Oh, do you reckon I can bounce on the bread? Oh, the fire actually hurts me. I didn't think it would hurt me because I'm made out of fire. I thought it would only make me stronger. Right, can I jump on the bread then? Oh, I think I need to make a bridge out of the bread. Oh, this is cool. So let me go and slide this one along. Uh, I guess I need to get... Oh, if I get them both to the end, uh, then I'm going to be able to jump across. Oh, uh, you can see there's the big present on the, the top right over there. So let's go and push these all the way along to the, the end there. And uh, now I need to just find a way to, to get onto that top platform. Oh, here we go. There's uh, some more bread here. 
I can go and slide this uh, along to the very end. One more big push. Perfecto. I can go and jump on that bread. Yeast I can. And uh, <laughs> I can go and put this one down. Is that one bready? Yes, it is. Right, anyway. Uh, sorry, sorry. No no more bread puns. Right, can we go this way? Oh, look, there's a little chest there. Oh, I've got to be quick. Got to be quick. Got to be quick. Avoid the fire. There we go. I can now go and mash, 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 Potato. I guess inside the oven it should be baked, 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 baked potato. Seeing as we are in a boiling hot oven. But there we go. I got myself a whole load of money there, actually. Oh, let's go get that last gem. And then let's be very quick before the fire switches. Nope, too slow. Too slow. There we go. I got past this one now, though. And I need to make my way up here. But then I should be able to walk my whole way across and uh, get my present. And the presents uh, are always hats. They were always hats. <laughs> oh, dear. In real life, I'd probably be disappointed if every present I got was a hat. But here, uh, it's good because the hats are generally pretty awesome. So let's just go and get this bread out of the way if we can. And uh, now I can hop around here and go and mash open the prison. Mash, 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 Potato! Sorry, baked potato! Oh, <laughs> oh dear, I think there's some sort of a sieve there. A colander, a colander hat I was able to get. <laughs> Shall I wear that? Sure, sure. I don't know if it would suit Wildfire, but there we go. It kind of works. God, Wildfire looks angry. Look at his angry looking face there. Oh, what's that? He's like blasting fire. As he said, he brings the heat. He wasn't lying, was he? <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go and uh, switch back to good old Gusto. And uh, let's go and try and take out Pepper Jack, who is one of the uh, the few Doom Raiders uh, that I'm going to try and need to catch. And I'm looking forward to, to catching another one of the Doom Raiders, uh, because then I get to use him. And the Doom Raiders are normally uh, some of the, uh, the most powerful villains. So uh, I guess we've got to head down here and into Pepper Jack's evil hideout. Into Pepper Jack's lair. <laughs> mm. And there he is. We meet again, Skylander. Hope you brought an appetite. Because tonight, on me and you, we serving you. Chef Pepper, Pepper Jack. Jack. Serve you, as in gonna cook you as a dinner. Not serve you, as in present the food to you. I can see how that would be confusing. Anyway, let's spice things up. Uh, <laughs> right, let's do it, let's do it. Oh look, oh he's got explodey fire peppers. Right, at least I can try and fight him at range as he does that. And oh look, all the all the, the, the pots landed on his head. <laughs> I know, let's try using my, my sucker move. Oh look, I'm sucking him up, I'm sucking him up. Oh, I wasn't able to completely suck him up though, but a load of uh, a load of um, pots fell on his head. Oh no, here comes the fire again. Right, I need to stay back and try and hit him at range as he's as he's doing that. And uh, I don't know if I'm the best person, because I don't seem to be able to, to completely suck him up. I know what's going on here. Right, it looks like I need to try and jump over the fire. This isn't very safe. Ooh, oh, I did well there. I'll jump back over the other side. Can I avoid them all? Oh, this one's coming back. Ooh, that was very close now. Keep jumping. I'm doing good here. Oh, why did I say that as they get so hard? Oh, look, I haven't been hit by any. Oh, no, I just got hit by one. Whew. That was um a little bit fiery, wasn't it? Right, let's try and do some good damage before he does that again. Oh no, he's firing peppers absolutely everywhere now. <laughs> oh dear, and he's charging me down with his um with his big whisk. Right, let's try and use my air attack. There we go. Now that's doing some some really consistent damage against him. But oh no, here come the peppers. Here comes the peppers. I was able to avoid them though. And there we go. I think my boomerang's the uh, the most powerful I move uh, I have move I have against him. All right, there we go. I was able to take him out, and now it's time to avoid the fire again. Probably using one of the uh, the flying Skylanders would be most effective, changing back to Spry. But you know what? I think it's more fun doing this. I actually get to to dodge them. I think flying would make it a little bit too easy. I enjoy the challenge, and oh, oh, oh they've all changed directions. They're all going back the other way. <laughs> I'm just making a gusto dance all over the place. And oh no, they're coming back again. Jump back this way, and then this way, and up like this, and then like, whoop! There we go. <laughs> Are they going to move again? Yep, they're still coming. They're still coming. I thought it's over, but it really isn't. Jump back this way. Run down, up, and then jump like this, and then like this. <laughs> How am I doing this? How am I avoiding them? I did it, though. Admit it. Admit it to yourself. Be honest. That was impressive. Admit you were slightly impressed by me, because that was pretty awesome, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know. There's peppers everywhere now, though. Let's get in close and try and do some damage. Right, here come the pots. Let's just try and keep hitting in. There we go. That's hurting him. That is hurting him big time. But here come the peppers again. I could do. 
uh, switch over uh, to a uh, bombshell and see if he can do any damage. Oh, that did quite a lot of damage there. And I can do my spinning attack now, try and get in close. Oh, but in come the peppers. I need to run back a little bit. Here we go. I can stand around about here and just keep throwing some bombs. There we go. That hurt him. That hurt him big time. And it looks like we're back to doing the dodging dance. <laughs> right, here it comes, here it comes. Oh no, he's coming straight back down again. Oh, what's this? Oh no, he's got some meat. He's got some meat. He's got some meat coming. Oh no, and here comes the fire. Oh, we need to stand on them. We need to stand on the, the meat to try and survive, but I can keep throwing bombs while I'm doing... Oh no, I need to get off. Oh, I was a little bit slow getting off there. Luckily though, uh, I wasn't Gusto, uh, so he didn't actually get hurt at all because of that, but he did get hurt then. He did definitely get hurt then. And oh look, there's some food. I definitely need the food. There we go. That got my health back up, but I need to dodge now because out come the fiery pet. Oh, that one was very close. <laughs> oh, dear. I need to be ready uh, for the uh, the fire to come again. Let's try and keep hurting him. There we go. There's some good consistent damage there. Oh, but oh, no. Here comes the dropping meat. Right, I need to try and stand on some, I think, uh, just in case the fire comes again. Yeah, see the fire's all coming underneath, but I can just stay up here. Oh, but no, he's blowing them all up. I need to keep jumping to make sure I'm not in any of the ones he's trying to destroy. There we go. I'm really hurting him now. I need to jump off this one. Now he's going after that one as well. There we go. He's right in front of me. Right, got to be ready to move. We've got to be ready to move. He's going to try and blow them up. Oh, here it comes. There we go. And jump off this one as well. Keep throwing my boomerang. Can I do the air attack? There we go. I can do the air attack. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, no. I need to jump off again. Oh, no. And this one as well. He's getting faster. He's getting faster. This is gradually getting harder and harder and harder. I know he's going to try and get this one. And then this one. Oh no. Oh no. I can't jump to the other one. I need to go in. I need to go in. And there we go. I was just about able to avoid them. I was just about able to avoid them. I can stand on this one. He's getting really hurt now though. Oh no. But Gusto's getting hurt as well. Oh, I've got to keep just switching between them. This is getting crazy. <laughs> oh, dude, there's only ever about one that I can jump on now. Look how hurt he is, though. Look how hurt he is, though. I'm not going to slow down. I'm just going to keep attacking him as much as I can until I am able to take him out. There we go, doing lots more damage there. Oh, no, I've got hurt. Oh, no, the whole thing's on fire now. Whew, is that it done? Is that it done? Is that the end of the fire? Nope, it looks like it's just carrying on just where we left off. And oh, no, I've got nowhere to jump to now. Oh, there we go. There's another one for me here. One more hit. There we go. I was able to take him out. I took out Chef, Chef Pepper Jack. Jack. Defeated. I was able to, to get him. Now I can go and put in my fire trap. It's got to be the fire trap. Yes, put in the fire trap. And now I can go and try and get my very own Pepper Jack. And he's now going to be good and fight for me. Don't know where I'm going, but I hope they got good barbecue. Chef Pepperjack Pepper trapped. I guess you the portal master chef now. Yay! My very first fire villain and a Doom Raider. I got Pepperjack. And I uh, got my bounty, got some extra monies for it. Uh, I got a I got a new keystone as well now. I forgot about keystones. So let's see how well I did. I know I missed a few of the secrets. Oh, there was that mystery elemental gate. Uh, yeah, there was a treasure chest I missed. Oh, and I missed the soul gem and the legendary treasure. And I only got two or three hats. Yeah, that wasn't my best go. That was not my best go. But to be fair, uh, it's just basically because I didn't have a lot of the uh, the right villains. Uh, so I wasn't uh, able to do many of the, the side quests. But it doesn't matter. I did what I went there to do. And that was to trap Pepper Jack. So I now have the evil chef trapped away. More bad news, my queen. Now the Skylanders have Chef Pepper Jack. Please, Majesty. Let me go after the Skylanders before they make a mess of everything. Yes, get rid of the Skylanders, finally! And I, Chaos, have the perfect and geniusly evil plan. First we'll get... Dr. Crankcase, how is work going on my ultimate weapon? <laughs> oh, splendidly, my queen. I have constructed the weapon so that it can harness the ginormous energy of Traptanium. Soon, I'll have it up and running, and then... And then... I will have all the gold in the world! Eh! Ah! Gold? Gold? That's it? That's your big plan? Of course. What else is there? Ooh, I don't know. Let me think. Ooh. Oh, yeah. How about ruling Skylands as its ultimate evil overlord? I'd rather have the gold. Yeah, not 
evil enough! I can't take it anymore! You've pushed me too far! I challenge you to an evil off! <laughs> oh, that is rich. Please, tell us, what exactly is an evil off? Don't play coy with me! I challenge you to an evil duel for control over the Doom Raiders and all of Skylands! Winner takes all! <laughs> I want to thank you, Chaos! That was the most fun I've had in a long, long time. Yeah! Oh, and don't worry about your troll. He'll be just fine with us. Winner take all and all that. <laughs> this is incomprehensible! How could this happen to me? Chaos. I actually find myself needing help. Help? I can't even say it, or barely think it. But... You... I give myself no choice. Time for the unthinkable. No one will expect it. Not even me. You don't think we're going to have to help Chaos, do you? Oh, don't That'll worry be a ton about of me. Events. I'm going to be awesome. I just need to wear this cast and maybe let you Skylanders take the lead on hero business for a while. The important thing is that you guys caught the chef. He won't be able to haul any Traptanium back to his Doom Raider buddies for a long time. What do they want with that Traptanium anyway? Yeah, don't know, but I might have something back at my old house that could tell us. I call it the Information Squid. And Callie, since Flynn here's got a bum leg, would you mind flying me and the Skylander out? Wait, what? Oh, and on the way, I can tell you all about a giant fish that lives out there too. Great! Awesome! Mission complete! I now have Pepper Jack! Awesome! <laughs> and so yeah, it seems like things are really shaping up. And what I don't understand is, why does the Golden Woman want to get gold when she can make anything into gold? She can just make her own gold! It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh dear, it is jolly good fun though, and it seems like Chaos is in a bit of trouble. And I have a, a little bit of a suspicion that we uh, might have to be the ones uh, to go and help him out. But look who we got! <laughs> Pepper Jack! Woo! Look at him go! Woo! <laughs> oh dear, oh there's the uh, the old chili attack again. Oh, and he can breathe fire as well. This guy looks awesome, actually. This guy looks like he could deal some serious fiery damage. <laughs> oh dear. Sadly, though, we have run out of time in this episode here. This has been uh, an extra long episode for you, but I know you'd have all been very upset if I ended the video before we got to face Pepper Jack. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed watching it and watched it until the end. There'll be, as always, a link in the description to the next episode. If you want to go straight there, it'll be online very soon. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye!